Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Chops and welcome back to Coffee Talk. We're on day 10 and uh, yeah, I got nothing else. Uh, FBI is looking for Neil, uh, not being very conspicuous. So let's see if they catch him or let's see if Neil can evade the FBI. All right, Thursday, October 1st, 2020. Let's read the morning paper. Uh, Coachella, Coachella organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to attend unsupervised. That's the concert that Rachel's performing. And Rachel Florencia confirmed to perform there at 2020. And Gil Naiman and Mario Key. Are you Kami? I probably butchered that to collaborate for a new IP. All right. Let's start the day after I uh, mispronounce everything. Uh, Jeff. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, Neil. You've come, really, you, you've come very early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There is definitely something that you can do. Oh, what is it? Can we work here? Um, <laughs> excuse me, what? Is it possible for us to work here? What? Why? We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. It blows our mind to learn that you need to mix between verbal and nonverbal communication here. Yes, but I can see that your communication skill has improved an awful lot since you've arrived. That is true. But it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned we have learned here. Or we have learned them from here. This made us think instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. Sounds like a good strategy. That is why we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers. That is correct. Hmm. I'm not so sure about this, Neil. You're, uh, you're not really cut out for the job. Neil, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you finally get the job, if you get it at all. Oh, let me think this over if you don't mind. And I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, no. We are sorry for our spon spontaneity spontaneousness I make up my own words but it has to be today may I know why because we are leaving for an event tomorrow hmm okay ah uh, boy mm. <laughs> lots of awkward silence okay thank you but with one condition you won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you will give the cup to the customer. Understood. I thought Jeff was going to say more. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customers. Some people come here just to chill. They might come for a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly suggest you let them be. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy. But you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs. Yes, that. That will be very hard for us. Indeed it will. Don't worry though. I'll give you a sign. When you should start talking, that is. Or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, that's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron, though. To help keep your suit clean. And to differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more differentiating. But it will make you look more legit for the job. That is a very earthly, earthly thing to do. It is. All right, then. Are you ready for this? We are. Okay. Oh, God. This is going to be a cluster F. 
Let's start the night. This is gonna be... Oh boy. Well, it's only one night, because he's going to the concert tomorrow, I think. Or whatever the event is he's going to. Welcome. <laughs> Frey is shot. Holy wow! What the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, Jeff, what's going on here? Well, Neil is working here tonight. And I thought I was the one who brought bad news. I never thought this place would be Ground Zero. Or an alien invasion. Ha, it's not that. Neil is just helping out. You never look like someone who needs help. There are a few things to cl clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the barista. Not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we arrived and we came to a conclusion. Before starting another breeding mission, we should learn more about how Earthlings communicate. We thought this place was the best place to learn. He just agreed to this. On one condition. I make the drinks. Neil will only be here to serve and communicate. Fair trade. What's in it for you then? What? You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Now that you mention it. Oh, if there's anything you want from us, please do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Well, maybe you can be my next story. I can write an article about your work here. Freya. I still need to write for the paper again. Hmm. What happened? The chief found out. Oh. Is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yeah. How did you find out? Do you remember my fatal meeting with the higher up? In the elevator. Yes. Same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift. And the higher up mentioned our encounter to her. Oof. The chief called me into her office. And things went downhill from there. She realized immediately. That was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that, hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. Hmm. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Freya. <laughs> Neil's just like in the middle between this conversation, not understanding anything. But we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It it, it is on the house. Neil! What are you doing? Just don't give drinks away. We gotta make an income. Huh? You allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. It's on the house. That was a nice thing to do, Neil. That was the best thing to do according to our senses. It was. So, what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favorite? Our favorite? Anything. I trust you with the decision. All right, in that case, you get your usual. Here's your espresso. You're not gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> Here is your drink, especially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. Well, who else is gonna brew it? Thank you so much for this. I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks. But today, I might have an idea why. How far along are you with the novel? I can prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines. And if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity in my blood? That sounds doable. Even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned extensively about Earthlings' bodies, about all the races, and we do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. <laughs> no, Neil, it's not. It's not literal. Ugh. 
I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. <laughs> it was just... Neil? Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Oh. Oh. We are glad to hear that, then. That was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, we have heard about that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. It'll always be hard. Giggity. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are here now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Freya, if we may ask. Ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Hmm. I don't think I have the exact number. But full time, should be able to write between three and five thousand words per day. That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is a pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. Hmm. I think it should be around 15,000 words. It's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's it's gra uh, GRA Media. The biggest publisher around. If we count based on the number of words, it seems like you will be able to achieve your target easily. Ha <laughs> ha I wish. Writing isn't only the... Writing isn't only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside the mere word count. We only judge writers by their ability to write a large number of words. Then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand. But we learned beforehand that art is a difficult master. Or matter. Even for earthlings. Yep. Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand. From languages to arts. Write again. Well, you're not that wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but it's still up there. So, it is still a valid parameter. Definitely. Cool. Um, ha! Ah. That didn't sound like you at all, Neil. I guess you really are learning something on Earth. New customer! Oh, another guest. Hey, it's Myrtle. Good evening, Miss Myrtle. Myrtle's like, what's going on? <laughs> Looking at Freya. I won't even ask. Except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. Coffee with a little bit of ginger. Bam. Warm and bitter. Just like works. It's a Jahi Tubruck. Pronounce that way wrong, probably. Your order is ready. <laughs> Not bad. Thanks. You are welcome. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? Psst, Neil! Some people come to a coffee shop just to sit without being distraught, disturbed. Oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle's visits here. Actually, I'm not here to just sit or sit without being disturbed. Ah, huh? pardon us. I was just training Neil on how to talk with the customers here. I can see that. They're still trying to get laid. Er, oh, no, we are not. We are tasked with learning how Earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. One suggestion, if you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen. Which, 
essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve, but we will try. Step by step. One small step for you might be one giant leap for your guides. <laughs> Good one, Freya. Nice. That was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you are not here for your usual activities, are you here for someone then? Yeah. Oh, is it Aqua? Uh huh. What's the occasion? No special occasion. It's just. That was a hard door slam. There's Aqua. I'm sorry. I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but, uh, whoa. What is this? What is happening here? <laughs> I already told the barista to call the cops when he's, uh, it, uh, oh, wait. When he's, when he said he was going to be to breed here. Oh, okay. Where's Jeff? Uh, Miss Aqua, please relax. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is fine. Poofed. Okay. Please let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. Aqua's like just freaking out. Feeling better now? Yes. I'm sorry. It is all right, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here anyway? We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. <laughs> you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break anyway. So here is the deal. We repeat what we said about three times. Oh, he's on the other side now. That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, Jeff. It's nothing, really. But do you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer. As if this place cares about business. I mean, she's not wrong. We don't think we've made one dollar since we've set up shop. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start. But we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Coachella. We're going to say Coachella for that. And a lot of silence. What? What are you going to... What are you, are you going to do at Coachella? According to our research, there are many breedings happening during Coachella. <laughs> that is why we decided that the event will be our next target. <laughs> well... You're not wrong. But didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes. We noticed that. But we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about Earthlings. Including the breeding manners. That is what we will be studying in Coachella. <laughs> He's going to be really disappointed. After that, we will be very ready to breed with so many female Earthlings. <laughs> I shouldn't say this. But hell. That sounds like the best plan you've had since you've got here. We know. We also surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We work here today. <laughs> First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. Not a bar, Neil. It's a freaking coffee shop. So, our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. What are you two doing, doing together? Er... It's nothing. We're just friends, you know. We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yes, yes, that's it. I don't have that much experience in game development, you see. I thought your research was in computer graphics. Yes, but I've never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bit bystander. So I've been asking Miss Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today I wanted to thank her directly but she arrived first so I couldn't buy her a drink never mind that I'd refuse it anyway but wait 
If you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be your, not your. Oh, so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? It was a slip of the tongue. Okay, I'm sorry. How'd you even pick up on that grammar anyway? Not like what I'm saying is written down anywhere. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. So, you're done with your game. There's quite a lot of things they need to polish and fix, but players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people for a video game? That depends on the game. But in Aqua's case, most of my advice was about the pacing control and the UI, UX. Okay. Uh, must be fun to have finished working on your creating, your creation. It surely removes some of the weight on my chest. Just to replace it with another weight. You mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. If I can't finish this draft on time, I'm done. And even after all that, if it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya. But please be more confident. <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app. Then I read some of the stuff you wrote. They're really good, you know. Some of them are better than others. But it's still an enjoyable experience to read them. So I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. What you're going through is more or less the same as what Myrtle's going through. I'm sure you'll both be fine. Ugh. You don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that sharing is caring, you know. Mm. Okay. Okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. I really am sorry. I know. I said thanks already, right? But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm. I know that. Oh, you have to do this. Aqua. Sorry if it sounded that way. But yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. I've been working on something for two years straight. But no one outside the office knows about it. And those who do don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes. I don't really work on them. Not, not directly. So, what do you work on? A secret project. I'll tell you under... Frenda. Okay. What? F-R... It's Frenda. Yeah. I don't know why the NDA is capitalized. Alright. I'm not with the paper anymore, anyway. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP. Or, worst case, another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream, uh, dream job for some people? Eh. That's what I thought, at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write. For years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. Our team has been making pitches, dozens of them, hundreds, thousands. But of all those countless pitches, only a handful got approved for prototyping. So far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us on the team. The seven samurai, that's what they've said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others. When they're going through a crunch cycle, they need to hit an almost impossible target. We jump in. No wonder you folks are considered the seven samurai. 
I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized... What? Usually developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Hmm. Before I joined this company, I guess. That's like four years ago. Uh-huh. Dude, no wonder you're so... Oh, wait, hold on, that's Freya. Dude, no wonder you're so burnt out. Aqua's getting pissed. Yes, that's why. You need a vacation. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you'll do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet. You'll take tomorrow, the day after, and another day after off. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. You will. I'm going with you for this long weekend vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, 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 okay. <laughs> but I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? Wait, is not tomorrow not Friday? Well, every vacation should start on Friday. Still a long weekend getaway, right? Hmm. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, Aqua. You look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry. Eh, don't be. Okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now. And prepare for our getaway. I'll come with you. Uh, to my apartment? No. We'll walk together to the bus stop, just like last time. Oh. Okay, then. Everyone, see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care out there. May you find joy during your vacation. So I'm guessing that Myrtle and Aqua are, like, developing a relationship, it seems like. That wasn't obvious enough. Okay, see you folks later. Neil will probably say something. Or Fram. That, that, that. Vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know. But not now. Gotta finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please, take your time. You sure? You want another drink to be going on with? To Hold on. The phrasing of the another drink to be going on with. What's our phrasing like in Seattle? Is Seattle like a totally different... I don't know. Okay. I'm just not used to having that structure of a sentence. Still in the house. I definitely won't say no. That's going to do it for Coffee Talk Day 10, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this kind of content, hit subscribe for more gaming content. Until next video, take care, and I'll see you soon.